In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Na2SO4, silver nitrate plus sodium sulfate. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I have two sodiums here and just one here. Put a two as my coefficient. Then I can see now I have two nitrates here, only one here. Put a two here, I have two silvers, two silvers, I have a sulfate ion here and a sulfate ion here. This equation's balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, so we're going to write aqueous. That means that they're going to dissolve in water, dissociate into the ions. Sodium compounds as well, they will dissolve, dissociate. But the silver sulfate, silver is kind of an odd one. It's often insoluble. Let's look on a chart of solubility here, see what we can see. We go down, here's silver, and we're looking for sulfate over here. We go down and then over, and we have this SS. That means it's slightly soluble. A little bit of it will dissolve, but not very much. So for net ionic equations, when it says slightly soluble, we consider that to mean that it's insoluble. It won't dissolve. It'll be a precipitate and fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So we have a solid here for silver sulfate, sodium compounds, nitrate compounds, very soluble AQ. At this point, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's the complete ionic equation. So silver is a transition metal, but it's always one plus. And then the whole nitrate ion here, that's one minus. Two silver ions, and I won't write aqueous each time, I'll write that at the end, plus two nitrate ions. Sodium is in group one, has a one plus charge, and the whole sulfate ion, that's two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two of these sodium ions, and then the one sulfate ion. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a solid here for the silver sulfate. We do not split solids apart when we do net ionic equations. So we're going to put Ag2SO4. That's our silver sulfate. And then we said sodium was positive nitrate ion. That's negative. Two sodium ions and two nitrate ions. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the equation, in the reactants and the products. So I'm looking here and I see two nitrates in the reactants, two nitrates in the products. Let's cross those out. Two sodium ions, two sodium ions. Cross them out. But everything else is unique. So we consider this to be the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Na2SO4. I'll clean this up a little bit, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sodium sulfate. Note we have two silver atoms here, we have two over here, we have SO4, SO4, so the atoms are balanced, and then the charge, we have two times one plus, that's two plus, two plus and two minus, balances out, we have a neutral compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.